Hi, welcome, this is Clemens at Elector. It is time for a new Raspberry Pi product, uh, two actually, and to be totally honest, three. All three products are updates of the Raspberry Pi Pico board that was launched one and a half year ago in January 2021 and that met with a huge success, at least among hobbyists and makers. I don't know how many Picos have made it into industrial products. The first update is the least spectacular, as it is just a Pico board with headers pre-mounted instead of castellated solder contacts. It is called the Pico H and is intended for use on, for instance, breadboards uh, to facilitate the life of prototypers and one-offers. The gold-plated castellated contacts have been replaced by normal contacts, which helps keeping the price down. It is supposed to retail at $5 instead of $4 for the original Pico. There is one more modification worth to be mentioned, which is the new debug connector, a tiny 3-pin device for which nobody has an adapter cable. Luckily, the three contacts are also available on the bottom of the module as solder pads, so you can mount a more suitable connector if you like, or directly solder wires on them. I have pushed the Pico H into a breadboard and can confirm that it fits. The next announcement is the Pico W. Now this is a bit more interesting as the W indicates wireless. Indeed, the Pico W is a Pico board with a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module added to it. This module is based on an Infineon CIW43439 wireless chip. It features both IEEE 802.11bgn wireless LAN and Bluetooth 5.2. But only wireless LAN, meaning Wi-Fi for most people, is supported at the launch of the Pico W. The CIW43439 is a highly integrated device with a separate wireless LAN and Bluetooth blocks, each having their own ARM Cortex-M3 processor and memory. The wireless LAN part of the CIW43439 communicates with the MCU over SDIO, 4-bit or 1-bit, whereas the Bluetooth part uses a high-speed UART. On the Pico, a 1-bit SDIO mode is used to talk to the wireless LAN module. Four GPIO pins are required for this, GPIO 23, 24, 25 and 29. GPIO 29 is also ADC input 3, so this analog input can only be used when the wireless module is not communicating with the RP2040. Uh, probably due to a lack of pins on the RP2040, the Bluetooth interface is not connected at all. Maybe a future version of the Pico will share some GPIO pins with the Bluetooth module. To handle the extra power requirements for the wireless chip, the power supply has been beefed up. This is now based on an RT6154 from Rich Tech, who is also responsible for the voltage regulator on the original Pico board. It has two operating modes, a power save mode default and PWM, which can be selected through the GPIO 1 pin of the wireless chip. A second GPIO pin of the wireless chip, a GPIO 0, controls a new LED. The debug connector has been moved closer to the RP2040, in between the MCU and the wireless module. The board edge is now used for the antenna. The mounting holes on this side of the board are now plated and connected to ground. On the original Pico they were isolated holes. Their diameter looks slightly bigger, but that may be an optical illusion or due to the plating. The Pico W should retail for only $6, making it a very attractive wireless MCU board indeed. Note that due to certification, the Pico W is for the moment only available in Europe and North America. Certification for other countries is being worked on and expected to take up to 3 months. The third update is the Pico W with pre-mounted headers, the Pico WH. Even though it is announced now, it will probably not be available before September 2022. It is expected to retail for $7. While preparing this video, I did not have access to the updated SDK, so I have not been able to try out the wireless capabilities of the Pico W, but I am sure they will be excellent. As soon as I have more information, I will let you know in a new video.